Welcome back to the channel everyone. My name's Ethan and in today's episode I'm going to be making up all the mounts for the ute tray. So with that out of the way, let's get straight into it. Alrighty, so I just centered this bit of C section and uh, marked out where I've got to drill the holes. So I'm going to start drilling them out now. Alright, so I don't know if the background noise is too bad or not, but I've probably about halfway done with all of these tray mounts. I've uh, drilled out all the holes in the ends and chucked the bolts through. They're just the old tray bolts. Uh, this is just temporary. I am going to be putting rubber and stuff in between it, like boat roll and stuff, and cutting that up and uh, maybe even using that to lift the tray up a little bit more even. But I still got to drill out these uh, rear ones and cut, drill all the holes and finish patching this up. There's a hole in there, but it wasn't in the right spot, so I'm just going to fill that up with uh, weld and grind it flat. And do the same with all these. The C section's all bolted there. The front one hasn't been done yet, and I haven't cut that little bit of uh, angle iron there into spaces yet. But I will be doing that in a minute. As well as the level sitting roughly where one of the rails is going to sit. So hopefully when the tyre flexes up it won't hit the rail. But I think it'll be alright. Alright, so I've just flipped the tray over again behind me. And uh, I'm going to start cutting off all of these old mounts and all the unnecessary beams. As well as I'm going to notch out this big bit of C-section to clear where the wheel guards sit. Because the tyres actually sit... Uh, from about here to about here. Alright, so I've now cut off all the old tray mounts. Um, other than like a, two little bits there and over there that I still need to finish cutting off. But now I'm going to really start grinding down all of these mounts. There's a few spots where I cut uh, too far in purely because it was impossible to get a grinder into the right spot. So uh, I'll have to just weld them around there and... Uh, re-grind it back but should be alright once I weld it up. Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to go down below, leave a like and subscribe as I upload videos weekly. In the next episode of working on the tray I'm going to be mounting the tray onto the chassis and welding up all the new mounts.